G'day, this is Michael. We've got a coin roll search here, looking for all sorts of things. We've got the uh, Tomlov digital microscope ready, just in case we need to check for close-up detail. Got a catalog for Euro coins that I probably won't find any Euro coins, but if you're interested in knowing for Euro coins, if you're overseas, all the different Euro coins you can find and things like that. So I got that from Renix. The website so i've got that linked in my bio so you can check out that um yeah a few other things so let's get into it now someone yesterday on my live mentioned um i usually i've been going from five cent rolls all the way through to the two dollar rolls so fives tens twenties fifties and someone asked if i could do it in reverse order um so i thought yeah why not let's do that um my reasoning for going for the five cent coins and finishing on the two dollar coins lots of people like to see the two dollar coins and there's not usually too many people on early on in a live. So, um, hey, g'day, Kieran, how's it going? Yeah, I'll check out the, the chat here. Ashley, do you have a red poppy? I've got a 2022 red poppy. That's the only poppy I've got. So I'd like you to get one of those late last year. G'day, Ashley. Um, let's check out any other comments. Nightman, you're well, going well, thank you. Yeah, yourself, hey. Do you have a red poppy? Oh, I just did that one. Have you had a great weekend? Yeah, pretty good weekend. Yeah, it's good. Kids are back at school, or one of them is anyway, and the other one's still got a day or two to go. Uh, PH, cool. All right, $2 roll. Let's start here, see if we can find some cool stuff. So let's go. How's your weekend, uh, Kieran? Did you have a good weekend? Love the videos. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, okay. yeah, tomorrow, my guys. Okay, yeah, for school. Cool, cool. How much is a 1996 Australian International Peace $1 coin worth? Oh, they're a high mintage coin. So they minted 25 million of those, but in really good condition, $2.80 to $10 are some prices on those um, Peace dollars. Busy weekend, good. Hi, Michael. G'day, Jarrah, how's it going? All right, let's, this is just coming across a bit dark. Sometimes my phone does this, it goes, it's like it, I must have a sensor that goes, okay, this is, really bright so we're going to make it a bit dark so um, um hopefully that's a bit that's a little bit better okay hey what's a one dollar mule coin worth um well some recent prices up to five and a half thousand dollars um those mule coins yeah but roughly speaking the quite worn ones between about three and six hundred dollars but the really you know really nice condition ones one that would wouldn't have been in circulation thousands of dollars yeah good morning g'day missy thomas can you show us what is the most valuable coin oh i don't have what's the most valuable coin because i'd be quite rich but um oh, like in australia maybe a 1930 proof penny um but there yeah, there's some quite valuable coins around but yeah they're not you won't find them in circulation because they're pre decimal coins hey mate what's the best two dollar find today Oh, do you mean what's the best coin you can find in circulation? Probably a $2 red poppy from 2012. Yeah. Okay, so this is, I've been, there's been about, about three or four of the HH coins. People keep asking about the HH coins and um, yeah, sort of keep, yeah, keep mentioning, but that's fine because people are just starting out. Um, but yeah, I usually find about five or six per $2 roll. Um, so that's how common they are. What is a $2 letter U coin is worth 2022? Okay, one of those Commonwealth Games coins. Anywhere from about $3.25 to $7. There's some selling prices on those Commonwealth Games coins. Ones with the, either the A, U or S on them. Okay, so nothing in that $2 roll. What's the Wiggles set worth? The Wiggles coins, the coloured $2 coins, between $2 and $25 for a set of those, the $2 coins. What is the valuable coin do you have? What is the valuable coin you do you have? I've got plenty of coins that are worth a little bit of money, so yeah. Um, I won't go through them all because we might be here for quite a while, sort of talking about all the different coins you can find that are worth a bit. But are the 1988 HH coins worth anything? Not really, not unless they're in perfect condition, but any coin in any coin in really good condition is worth more than face value to coin collectors. But the 1988 HH coins, they minted one over 161 million of them. So heaps of them out there, quite easy to find. Hello, first time here, g'day, how's it going? Uh, Melody, what's a 1981 Prince and Princess 50 cent coin worth? 
Um, again, a little bit of a high mintage coin. I'm just looking onto my coin lists. 1981, Charles and Diana. A dollar to ten dollars if they're in good condition, because twenty million of those were made. Are the Sir Henry Parks one dollar coins valuable? Only in good condition again, because they made a lot of those. Twenty six million of those were made. Two dollars sixty to fourteen dollars. There's some recent prices in really good condition. Mm. Now this coin here, a bit of a lower mintage coin, although the figures were sort of updated, I think last year, by the Roll Australian Mint, because the figures can change. So 2019 JC, 2.1 million of these coins were minted, three dollars to fourteen dollars fifty. So I'll hold on to that, put that aside. Cine, would you declare two million minted as a low amount made? Well, in the coin collecting circles, below five million minted in Australia, below five million mintage is considered rare, and between five and ten million is sort of considered scarce. So above ten million is getting more common. Yeah. What's your favourite coin from the Perth Mint? I don't really know. I love gold sovereigns, but I think they, I think the mint, the Perth Mint put out gold sovereigns, so. I might, oh, I, you know what I do like? I like that um, coin. It's it's a coloured coin the Perth Mint put out. It's like a swan on there. It's like a black swan. It's an Aboriginal type design. It's got a lot of colour and it looks really cool. It looks really cool. I think they only made about 800 of them or something like that. But geez, I wouldn't mind one of those. But they're probably worth about 300 odd dollars or something. Okay, we get to check this coin for rotations. Ooh. Gee, that might be just slightly rotated. No. Hey, Michael. G'day, Oz Girl. How's it going? Oz Royal, the Marley Swan. Very cool coin. It is a cool coin, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Marley. Marley. Swan. Yeah, that's a cool coin. Yeah. Perth Mint. Check it out. Australian Coin Hunter. Have you got an 1896 Sovereign? I'm itching to buy one. I'd love it gold sovereign from the late 1800s no i haven't got one but at some stage i i'm hoping to have one yeah been looking for your page for the last two hours oh there you go found it are you in perth no i'm not i'm in victoria on the coast in victoria what we might do this coin here I'm going to guess the year of this coin because I think we might have seen the date on the last coin so I flick that over scouts coin guess the date so I do that every now and then where you've got to guess what year you think this coin is so having a look at the toning of the coin probably a bit more of a recent coin oh I'm going to go 2017 but um, in the comments write down yeah if you want to write down what you think this coin will be what year you think this one will be 18, 16, 15, 18, yeah, yeah, okay, 12, 18, shiny, nice, 15, Ozcoin Dazza, 2018, all right, we'll check this one out, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, reveal, 2016, yeah, a few people guessed that, so congratulations, yep, 2016 coin, so um, that's what that one is, although, hi, Minty, let me have a look on the list. 30 million of those were minted, so pretty high mintage. Okay, let's get into the 50 cent coins. Z, is Australia being affected by the flood storms? New Zealand not looking good. Yeah, I saw some stuff on social media about New Zealand copying it with the, the flooding and stuff. I, no, not, not so much in Australia, but although I think I saw that the east coast of Australia might cop a bit in the next week or so. So it um, might be the same sort of cell between New Zealand and Australia that's sort of going to come across and wreak a bit of havoc, but I, not that I'm aware of at this stage. So hopefully it's not too bad and people in New Zealand bounce back quickly and stuff like that because, yeah, it's pretty pretty unfortunate and can be devastating in the short term and even in the long term too. So, oh, nice. Centenary of Federation. So in 2001, different states and territories have a different coat of arms. And this is the Victorian coat of arms coin. So um, anywhere between two and mil three million minted, 
um, of the 50 cent coin um, Centennial Federations. $2 to $15 are some recent prices depending on conditions. So that's pretty cool. How much is each roll? Oh, it depends on the roll. So um, say that, uh, oh, just knock the 10 cent coins over. So in the two 10 cent coins, $4. The five cent roll, there's two dollars worth of coins. The twenty cent coins, there's four dollars worth. The fifty cent coins, there's ten dollars worth. Just depends on the denomination. All right, bicentennial coin, nineteen eighty eight. Um, some prices on these, nineteen eighty eight. Um, a dollar ninety to fifty seven dollars. Nine million of those were minted. Cool. Marcus, 2018 Anzac, $1 any good or high mintage? No, that's good. It's only about 2 million mintage of those 2018 Anzacs. Yeah, 2 million. $3 to $10 on those, on the Anzacs, or for 2018. They must know you by now. Who must know who? Who knows who? I mean the banks. Yeah, the banks. Yeah, most of the people in the banks that I visit, maybe. Yeah. Oh, is this another Centenary of Federation? Two Victorian Centenary of Federations. Mm, nice. I'll take that for sure. Do you sell on eBay? I have sold a fair bit on eBay over the years, but um, I haven't been as focused on it lately. Um, yeah, I've been focused on making content and doing other things. So just been holding on to the coins I put aside recently. Yeah. What about you, buddy? Do you sell on eBay? Do you sell coins? 20 cent coins. Maybe we'll do a guess the year. We'll do a guess the year right about now. What year? How much are the Flamingo 5 cent coins? The 2001 Flamingo 5 cent coins, $22.50 to $60. Oh, I appreciate the gift, thanks, E. A bit of fairy bread, nice. No, I don't buy, I I know I don't, but I buy heaps. Okay, there you go. 2002, 2004, 2003, 87, says me. Yeah, okay. I'm going to guess on this one, 98. I'm going to go on 98. Um, so five, four, three, Two, one, 2013, so I was a fair way off. I'm not sure if anyone got it. Did anyone get it in the comments? Did anyone go over 2013? No, 2010. Oh, there we go, Marg. Well done. Marg guessed 2013. You win the Guess the Year Challenge. Royal Wedding, Kate and William in 2011. So these two dollars to ten dollars recent prices on those ten million mintage. <laughs> uh, as a royal couple, they're probably a little bit more favoured at the moment compared to the other the other ones. Uh, I won't get into it. All right, nineteen sixty six. This could be a wavy baseline, and this could have a, a little bit of a lamination crack that that line through it. Could be post mint damage, but it looks more like the metal's got a bit of a flaw in it and the metal's sort of peeled up a bit. Lamination peel. Okay, so it's not the wavy baseline that we want, but that might be just a slight error in the metal there. So that's cool. Might add a little bit of value for someone. Yeah. Their faces look terrifying. <laughs> they do, don't they? The teeth. It's like the teeth really. Like William's teeth are like. Ew. It's like he's wearing a mouth guard or something like that. <laughs> but, um, uh, fingers crossed. Hey, Michael, good day. Becky, oh, don't do it, Michael. Don't mention the H&M. <laughs> yes, yes, I won't. Sorry. Yep. I sort of backed out of it, but it was too late, wasn't it? Zoomies. What are Zoomies? Oh, no, I might have walked into something there. Is there a book or guide about each coin worth? I've got a coin list. I've put together some coin lists myself, and I've researched the recent selling prices, so... If you click on my profile picture and then on my account below the Australian flag, there's a link. If you click on that link, it goes to my link tree. And then there's a couple of lists in there, coin lists. Well, there's one main coin list, but there's two different options. So you can do a monthly option where you just pay each month and you get updates each month. Or you can just buy the list once and then you've got the list. Um, so, yep. 
I've also got a free guide in there too of six valuable coins to look for. So you can, if you're interested and you're just sort of starting out, it's good to know. I have a Swedish coin from 1899. That's cool. Awesome. Uh, what's that question? Do you do affiliative program for your lists? Um, not sure what you mean by affiliative program. Like, no, I just sort of sell them myself. So I put them together and use software. People can buy them on there. Yeah. Greetings from Poland. G'day. How's it going? All right. That's a 2022. Michael, I remember you about a $1 Anzac coin a few weeks ago. It sold for nearly $800. Oh, look got to be careful on eBay. Like you always look up when you're searching a coin's value, you filter your search to sold items, but there's some, there's something that people must be able to do to have it registered as a sale when it's not a legitimate, it's either not a legitimate sale. It's there's some sort of workaround that people can have it logged as a sale. Or maybe they back out of it or something like that. I don't know. Or someone's been scammed and this it's been sold to someone for a crazy price. So, um, the Anzac coins. If you're talking about just the standard circulating Anzac coins, it's it's not a it's not a legitimate value in my my um yeah in my estimation. So, all right, this twenty cent coin here. Um, let's guess the year. So, I'm going to go about 2013. <laughs> I think that's what the last one was. So there we go. Um, if you want to guess, you can check it out. Have a go in the in the comments. 2012, 11, 06, over 11, 11, over 11. Uh, Steph says 2000, 84, 08. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one. Reveal. Oh, 81. I said 2013. I was a long way off. <laughs> so, um, did anyone guess 81? Oh man. Was anyone in the 80s? 96 or oh, 84? Henry, you were pretty close. Yeah, so Henry's probably the closest to the pin. Ah, oh, Princess the Crew came through with 981. <laughs> Was that after the fact? <laughs> okay, 10 cent coins. Osgur, wow. Okay. No, <laughs> just before you said, oh, well done. Good guess. Yeah. Good stuff. How are you, Michael? Going well. Thanks, Callum. I have a 964 Aussie penny. Nice, Jacob. Cool. It's good to have the old coins. Okay. 10 cent coins. We're looking for 85s, 91s, 97s, 2011s. Any foreign coins, and this is a New Zealand coin. I like these. Oh, this is one of those cool ones from 1967. I love these. It's a bit dirty, this one. It probably That's just probably a bit of surface dirt that'll probably clean up off the coin. But So this is a, a cross between two coins. So it's when New Zealand changed over from pre-decimal currency to decimal currency. So this coin's got one shilling written on it and also the 10 cents. So it's when they were changing from pre-decimal currency to decimal currency just to let everyone know that okay one shilling is a is equal to about 10 cents so this is a 10 cent coin but it's also a one shilling i reckon that's really cool it's one of my favorite little things that um yeah to look for so that's awesome find of the day so far they are bronze now yeah the new zealand 10 cent coins are bronze aren't they do you know the value of the wags the dog coin any of those wiggles coins um four to eight dollars some selling prices on those. As you were talking, I got a Henry the Octopus coin. Nice. Yeah, four to eight dollars. Good stuff, Jacob. I have a one cent coin. Do you know the value? Um, depends what year it is and depends on the condition. So it's hard to give a value of something like that over the without sort of seeing it. But the 1968 one cent coins, they are they're the lower mintage one cent coins, so they're worth a bit more. Yep. So if it's a one, 968, it's definitely worth more. Off to work. Good luck. Thanks, Osgirl. You have a good day. Don't work too hard. Wales, the most valuable. What's the most valuable coin you have ever found? Um, not too sure. Yeah, I found a, an error two cent coin that could be worth four over four hundred dollars. I found a few of the wavy baseline twenty cent coins, probably in the three hundred dollar range. I sold two of them for three hundred dollars each. 
But um, yeah, 1981 Pennyworth. Um, they stopped minting pennies in 1964. So I'm not sure what coin you're talking about there. Unless it's a British coin. And I don't really know the values of British coins. Policing is tough. Ah, so you're a police, police officer, are you? Okay, good luck. Hopefully it goes well. Stay safe. Get those bad guys. What about the Donald Bradman 20 cent coin? Um, yeah, 2001 20 cent coin. Don Bradman, $1.50 to $5.50 on those. Oink. Always nice work, Oz girl. Good stuff. Steph found a 946 Aussie penny with a kangaroo on it in my foreign coin collection. That's awesome. Yeah. It's cool having a coin with kangaroos on it. Five cent coins. We'll do a guess the year in a moment. Okay, we'll guess the year on this one. Do you know the value of a 966 round 50 cent coin? Yeah, 15 to $33. Let's guess the year on this coin here. It's a little bit fresher, I sort of feel. I'm going to 2015, I'm going to go on this one. 07, 83, 2009, we're getting a nice spread on the years, so it's spreading people out a little bit. I suppose that last coin threw a fair few people. Yeah, I'm going to go 15. All right, we'll go in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 2019, yeah, a few people, I saw someone had picked that, so let me go back through the comments. Princess the Crew, that's the second time you've nailed it. If you got like x-ray vision or something, you can sort of see through the, the coin and see the date. That'd be handy skill to have, wouldn't it? Pulled a 1954 three pence from a five cent coin. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I love finding pre-decimal coins in de circulating coins like that. That's awesome. Congratulations. Two thousand and seven. You ch you always flip the two thousand and seven five cent coins over. Some of them have the queen's head on both sides, and some prices on those. One of those sold for three thousand dollars just recently, over three thousand dollars. I'm going metal detecting later today. Do you have a metal detector? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do have a metal detector. Good luck with your search. Yeah. Robert, I have a few, not sure what they are worth. 1917 penny, 1916 half penny, 1946 florin. The pennies and half pennies, generally speaking, a couple of dollars each. Um, the florins between about six and ten dollars, usually. Yeah, because I've got a bit of silver in those. David, hi Michael, thanks for getting back to me about the Outback coin with the C mark. Yeah, there's some, they produce some coins, C mint mark coins, and more for collectors and so on. Um, yeah. 07, flip them over. That's not the double head. Okay. Where do you sell most coins? You can sell on eBay, you can sell on Facebook. Oh, I haven't been as focused personally on selling coins myself lately. Probably the last year or so, I haven't really been focused on it too much. Will Jacob says, Will my 966 round 50 cent go and go up in value? I think so, yeah. But I haven't got the crystal ball that tells for sure. Okay, so this one here, I'll put that other five cent coins down. We'll guess the year on that one because that's the last coin. But this one here, these 1966 five cent coins, they were minted in two different locations Australia and London. Um, um, yeah, Australia, but then yeah, the mint in London as well. So, and to tell the difference, you look at this arm of the echidna, and at the top there's a little spine there. That's a short spine, and the short spined ones were minted in Australia. So this is an Australian minted um, five cent coin. Whereas the that same spine, if it's longer, they were minted in London. And collectors like to collect the two different mint locations. Yeah, so I'll put that aside. All right, come back to this one. We're going to guess the year on the final coin of this search. Mm. 
and you can have a guess in the comments if you'd like to what year you think this coin is i'll just try and move it around get a bit of a feel for how fresh the coin is how new the coin is oh go for something different i'll go for 2018 yeah a few people are going for more recent years good stuff 2018 as well devon says 17 20 says Jacob Callum is 2014 2022 buddy's 89 we're going early okay so in five seconds we're going to flip this and see where we're at five four three two one reveal 2006 oh user 07 said 07 did anyone guess 2006 let's go back through the comments jeremy's just coming with an 06 pretty late i don't know if it was before or not <laughs> probably was ah uh, well jeremy if you did before congratulations that's good got it nailed it okay that's the end of those coins let's have a look at what we've put aside pretty happy with today's search actually find of the day this one, I'll give it a little bit of a clean up. And when I say that, I'll just, with a cloth, just give it a little wipe, try and get some of that dirt out of the grooves and things like that. Um, but I love these coins. The 10 cent one shilling coin from 1967 in New Zealand. And um, I love the design on those. That's awesome. So pumped with that. Um, value wise, oh gee, um, maybe between about $3 and $5. Probably about $3 to $5 if you were trying to sell one of those in Australia. This one is a an Australian minted five cent coin, which sounds a bit strange because yes, there are Australian coins, but they minted these 1966 five cent coins in two different countries. So half of them were minted in London and half were minted in Canberra. So that's the location on that one. Anyway, that one's the Australian minted one. 1966, the reason I've put this one aside is that metal, a bit of an error. I think it's a bit of a lamination through the metal there which is a bit of an error in the, the metal. So can add a little bit of value to the right collector who collects those sorts of things. Um, this one here, the Royal Visit coin, 2011. Then we have a $1 coin, 2019. Low mintage, 2 million mintage, so it's considered low. We've got the tall ship, the Bicentennial 1988 coin. So that one's in fairly good condition too. So some prices on those, $1.90 to $57. So in really good condition, like perfect condition, a fair amount of money on those. And then two of these Centenary of Federation 50 cent coins, Victoria style. So um, yeah, happy with that search, happy with it. No colored, no colored coins in that search, but yeah, find of the day, this one here, 10 cent, one shilling. All right, we'll check out a few mint chilling i'll check out a few comments and then we'll get into it i just pulled a centenary of canberra 20 cent coin awesome congratulations valley valley in yeah i found a rotation one dollar yesterday but it's in really crabby condition that's no good any suggestions on worth keeping yeah for sure definitely keep it Ten thousand likes ah oh, cool snap thanks for letting me know i can't see this top of my screen because i have my my phone that i filmed this on in in a little cradle and I can't see the screen so I've got no idea how many people are watching and stuff what's your most valuable coin oh I don't really know yeah not too sure I have because coin values can change over time and I've got a fair few coins in my collection and unless I value everything in my collection and get a fair idea on what everything's currently worth I don't really know how much is it worth oh I'm not sure which coin oh the 20 cent Canberra coin um a dollar fifty to nine dollars on those Canberra 20 cent coins have you got a five cent two thousand and seven coin? Yeah, I found a few today, but none of the none of the double headed ones. No. Um, two thousand and seventeen fifty cent Marbo. Ah, yeah, the Marbo coin two thousand and seventeen three dollars to ten dollars ballpark. How much you got in coins? Good, no idea, Jeremy. Sorry. Um, yeah, no idea. Yesterday I was given my great uncle's coin collection from when he was a kid, and tons of pennies. That's awesome, Joe. Yeah, it's cool. I love old coins, so have fun looking through that and sorting them into trying to find one from each year that'd be cool what's the difference between a two five cent 966s yeah i mentioned that just to, i was just going through that a moment ago so it's the i'll try and get the right zoom on it so it's this you got to look at this arm of the echidna and at the top of the arm there's a little spine there that's the one at the top of the spot the arm 
It's that one there. If it's shorter in length, that spine, it's an Australian minted one. If that same spine is longer, goes further across, it's a London minted coin. Yeah. All right, I might sort of wrap it up right there. So uh, yeah, thanks everyone for jumping on. Hopefully you have a great day. And if you're searching for coins, hopefully you find some cool stuff. Like this one here, I, this is my favorite one from today's search, so might even do a little video on it. Mm, nice. All right, all right, have a good one, everyone, and we'll catch you later. See ya.